Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Disney Plus Project. So this week we sat down and watched um, the Scream Team. We again did that today, but we weren't quite as didn't feel quite as rushed because I don't know. I just didn't feel as rushed at this time as when I watched um, what was it, Teen Beach movie that I watched that day. Yeah, I don't know why don't that know. felt rushed to you. I felt more rushed than anything. <laughs> well, um, yeah, so we watched the Scream Team today. So before we get into that, make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, you hit that subscribe button. And make sure to leave us a like and a comment down below. Let us know what we should watch next. So, this was the first time I'd seen the Scream Team, and Anna could not remember if she had seen it. And then, but I totally have this seen it. This I was, I was going to be very surprised if you hadn't seen it at least once. Yeah, I've seen the vast majority of the older Disney Channel mm -hmm. originals. Yeah. So. And this was made in two thousand two, so it is the um, early two thousand. So it's around the time of. Um, like uh, Hannah Montana and stuff that like that. Area. Um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. Mm -hmm. I really like that. It almost yeah. reminded me of like a slightly better version of Halloween Town. I could see that. It wasn't. It was cheesy, but not quite as cheesy as Halloween Town. Yeah, it I feel like it wasn't quite as out there. It's mm -hmm. it's cheesy for the fact that it was an older Disney Channel original <laughs> movie. Yeah, and so like the, like it is a product of the times, like yeah. as far as technology and stuff goes. Because I'm sure, like, if you had watched it when it first came out, mm -hmm. you would not have thought it was cheesy. It would no. have just been a movie. No. Um, but, and then I happened to no notice that, uh, and I was just telling Anna this, I happened to notice that there was two actors in it that I recognized. One of them, and I don't remember the ac actor's name, but it, he was in um, Monty Python. And he's actually really funny. I've watched interviews with him before, and he's really funny. And I think he's one of the reasons that that the com some of the comedy in the movie works, is because he's actually naturally funny. Um, and then I believe the guy who played Zachariah Cole was Joaquin Phoenix. I'm pretty sure. Um, we'd have to look it up to be sure. Oh, and Anna's gonna look it up real quick. Yep, Eric, Eric Idol. So yes, Eric, Eric Idol is the name of the actor from Monty Python. No, Kim Coates. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, I'm, oh God, where did I see him? Kim Coates. Okay. So I was wrong. It was not Hawking. And it was also really hard to tell because you really don't see his face very well. No, you don't. Through most it's of it. that like weird. It's all yeah. Really it's the swirly effects. ghost. Yeah, because you know he's a spirit. So um, I'm trying to see if there's yeah. anything else. And we go curse. Yeah. He does a lot of like actiony horror movies though. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of what that is. Yeah. Scream Team. Mm -hmm. Couple of comedies though. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So his name is Kim Coates. So I was wrong. Um, but yeah, it is really hard to tell because he's in like the ghostly aura the whole time, and so it's really hard to see. And plus, he's like they gave him all messed up teeth and, yeah. and stuff, and so it was hard to recognize. I was him. gonna feel like I, th I was gonna say I feel like the age would have been wrong for it to be. Yeah. Mm, maybe I don't remember how old Walking Phoenix is, but I yeah, like, it could be. I feel like the age would have been off. The wouldn't have made as much sense. Maybe. Yep. Um. But yeah, no, it was it was actually a really good movie. I really enjoyed this movie. Mm -hmm. I, w I would watch this one again. Yeah, I like and it. It's one that I kind of want to put on our... Cause we have like a list of movies that we do and can watch around Halloween time. Like Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town. And I'll watch those movies anytime. Any time of right. Year. Um, and Nightmare Before Christmas. But there's like... Especially Nightmare Before Christmas is one that we watch on Halloween all the time. Yes. And then again on Christmas Eve, generally. Yep. Um, but this is one that I think I would I would add to that list of such one because it was really yeah, good. It was really good. I think the acting in it was actually pretty pretty darn good. Yeah, it wasn't like that hokey like kid acting that you mm -hmm. normally see. Yeah, but some of it was, but not not the vast majority. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I recognize a couple of the other actors too, but I don't know. Um, so they used I mean it's obviously it's Disney, so they generally use recognizable names for the most part. But but no, is it? Did you generally like this movie? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty positive I've seen it more than just mm -hmm. once or twice, because um, I, as soon as I started watching it and I saw, like, got a feeling for the plot, I was like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I know exactly what's going yeah. on. Um, and so, like, yeah, I'm positive I've seen it. Yeah. A few times. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I like it. I'd watch it again. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think I think it's probably one that Aiden would enjoy when he get as he gets older. As, when he gets older, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely not quite yet, but yeah, it's it's probably more along the lines of like six, seven, something like that. Yeah, would probably be interested in it, but earlier than that might not be. Yeah, no. Again, we probably just have to wait until they're once they're past the only animation phase. Yeah, then it would probably be good. But but no, it was really good. Mm -hmm. I liked it, so yeah. I would recommend this one. Yeah, so definitely. Next week, we are watching The Luck of the Irish. I didn't need your list. I remember. I looked at it before we started the video, and I still And then you still forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do The Luck of the Irish next week, which, again, I, I've never seen, and apparently she loves. Love this movie. Yeah. You're going to think it's so hokey, though. Now, like, I, I mean, think, I, I'm, like, thinking back on it, and I'm like, mm -hmm. you're going to think it's so freaking hokey, but I love it. I yeah. think it's great. I mean, I enjoyed the There was a movie that I liked as a kid. It was called uh, Like Mike. Did you ever see that one? This kid ended up with, somehow ended up with Michael Jordan's old shoes. I've seen something like that. And he went to tie the shoes the one time and he said, and he said, make me like Mike. And it made him like a superstar basketball player. Like, yes. I Very hokey. Very, yeah. Very much so seen that. Yeah. I don't know why. I used, yeah. I enjoyed that movie when I was younger. I don't know if I would like it now, but, <laughs> but yeah. So I like hokey movies, so I'll probably like this one too. We'll see. But we'll see. So. Thank you all for joining us this week, and we hope to see you all again next time. But until then, don't forget to, to thank, thank the, the Phoenicians. Phoenicians.